A few months ago, we decided to move our daughter from a single bed into a double. And in doing so, we wanted to design and build something for her that hopefully could last her for a long, long time. And I wanted her to be a part of the design and the conversation of what she wanted. And so here's what we came up with. She wanted a bed with some storage for her books, for toys, for other knickknacks that she could uh, gain easy access to. She wanted a headboard. And what's not pictured here is a footboard. So here's how we built it. So the first thing to do is just to get everything cut down to the right size. Next was just cutting everything down to the proper lengths. This Craig jig is really, really helpful when it's, um, when it's set up well. Next was just cutting a slight dado. Uh, you'll notice one interesting thing about this plywood that I purchased was the amount of gaps in the layers, which really bad. After that, just needed a little sanding and wanted to next make sure a good fit. Next was just cutting the dados for the shelves and the different dividers. Here I am just dry fitting everything together. I also put dados in the shelf dividers that you can see. So there'll be two dividers on each side, two different shelves with one big open uh, section in the middle. Next, using just glue, I just use Type Bond, probably like most people. Those corner clamps I bought are a lifesaver. I should have purchased about a dozen more. Uh, they really help. Just getting everything tacked in, and I will come back with screws in a little bit that you'll see. Put everything together, get it all nice and nice and locked in. Here we have just countersinking and attaching these pieces with some screws. Making sure everything's square and moving on. Next is just cutting the back. I'm using quarter inch plywood pre-primed plywood, make everything a little easier, and just using staples. And then just squaring everything off of the router. Next, we move on to the trim. And I'm using one by three by eight select pine. Super easy, super straight, super nice to work with. Cutting these pieces down to about a half inch each. And just getting them cut to the right size. I find it easiest just to do it this way and make sure I get precise cups. Getting them 
tagged in the place. Next is one of my favorite things to do. This this can hang over, it's okay, because we're gonna trim it all down. Okay. So then this has to push in like that, and then you pull the trigger. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it where it needs to go, and we're gonna set it down like that, okay? Now you pull the trigger. Oh! That's it! Alright, then we line it up again. Hold on, don't, don't pull it until I tell you. Alright? Good. We're gonna turn this so the air blows out, so it won't get you. We're gonna line it up and make sure it's nice and even. We'll push it, pull. Boom! Good job. She's a big help when she comes out. She's really excited to do different things, and it is it is so much fun to have her out there with me. But now she can say she was a part of this project. And just trimming everything up, make sure everything's nice and even and square. That router was my grandfather's. It is 50s or 60s. The thing is a monster. And just some sanding. So here you can see the trim is up, everything looks good, and this is kind of what the final box looks like. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. Next comes the base. I think I'm using one by four by eight pine here. Wanting to get it up off the ground a little bit, a little bit of a reveal. The boss came outside to check things out. Luckily, everything was approved. Thought it'd be the easiest way to mount this to the base of the cabinet just using pocket screws. So, broke out the old Craig jig. Always amazes me the amount of hate this jig gets and it has its uses. Maybe not on everything, but I find it very helpful to do certain things, uh, especially like this. Those just get attached. One more time to sand. Now this was an interesting thing. This is the first time I ever used a paint sprayer. I wanted to see how it would work. Um, worked pretty good. I think one of the problems is my air compressor probably doesn't have the capacity to keep a really solid stream of paint going. So I ended up having to roll it at the end of that. But it was great being outside. We had a little blast of warm weather. So I got to go outside and uh, take care of it. So it was a lot of fun. Nice being outside. Next, I'm just making the back support for the bed slats that are gonna go between the two boxes. Just using some uh, scrap wood I had. You can see behind me, outside, that's a little shed that's attached to the house that keeps all of the random pieces of wood that I have or that were left when, I, uh, when we moved there. This is just attaching it to the back of the box. You'll see how all this fits once we get it into the room and put together. And that box is pretty much done. Now, if you want to see how I did the other box, here you go. 
The next step was to move it into the bedroom, get it positioned the way we wanted it, and then start putting bed slats in. She's the little spacer guide and got all these things tied in pretty quickly. Gives good support, leaves great space for storage. Well, here it is, it's completed. We're super excited about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. See you next time. Thanks again for watching.